So, today, we're going to find out if there's really $110 more value in a Camly than what you can get out of this guy. Which, let's just call this a fake link. It's a fake link. There you go. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to go with for now. And as a reminder, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link is in that description below. Also, make sure to join our Discord. We have a stream help section where we're able to help you with all of your streaming needs and questions. We're glad to have you in there. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be putting out two videos a week going over everything from hardware and tech reviews to streaming help. Well, as many of you know, a cam link is $130 normally from Elgato, when you can even find them. They've been pretty hard to find ever since COVID started. I've had mine for going on almost two years now, so it's been a minute. I And the little HDMI video capture, that's all it really says, HDMI video capture. You have to take that out. Uh, this guy can be found for anywhere from like $7 upwards of $30 from a whole various number of manufacturers. I picked one up about a month, month and a half ago. Uh, Cause it just looked like a pretty good deal that I was willing to give it a chance. And honestly, I've really liked the thing. I've been using it as a secondary camera in the room. It's been hooked up to my Sony a6000 and that's worked out great. It's given a really cool rear view for the room I'd show that to you, but I've already unhooked that camera so that we can use it to also test out the video. Okay, so I've bought two of these little guys from two separate manufacturers, and they both came in identical packaging with identical casings and bodies. Uh, but the very first thing I noticed, Amlink's all plastic. Like this thing, I don't know if you can hear that on the mic. Hopefully you can. Well, ASMR for you. It's really plasticky. This is like an all aluminum casing. It's actually really solid. I was really impressed with the build quality right off the bat. So that's a huge plus. Uh, limiting factors that I know right off the bat is it can do 720p 60. You can also do 1080p 30 versus the cam link, which is able to do 1080p 60. 4K 30, it's got it's got a little more options on it. I I can't necessarily say whether I'd recommend this as being your standard capture card if you're recording like a Switch or a game console or something of that nature, just because as you can see, input only, no pass through. It's just USB 2.0 with no pass through option. Wait a second. Well, this just changed up the video. I just realized this guy, one of these, has a blue USB on it, which makes me wonder if it's actually a 3.0. And then this one, the one I've had for the longest time, is 100% USB 2.0, and it's got white on it. So in this video, we're going to test two $20 capture cards and one cam link, because that's what we need to do. Through this, I'm going to have these listed as A, B, and C. You're not going to know which one's which until uh, the very end of the video. So let me know in the comments below which one you thought was the best. I'm not going to do any color correction on this entire video. So it's going to be completely raw, straight into OBS capture. Uh, there will be no filters applied to it. Just what the camera and the capture card captured by itself. You're going to have A, B, and C with two different cameras. Uh, the Canon SL2 uh, with a 10 by 18 millimeter lens. And you'll also have it with a Sony A6000 with a stock kit lens. So you're going to be able to see this from both standpoints of what a Sony's going to produce and what a Canon's going to produce. So I guess at this point, we're just going to dive into it. Okay, so option A. This is the Sony A6000 plugged into capture card A. So 
take a look. You can kind of see how we're moving. Get some, get some movement in there. I'll let you make your opinions on what you think. I, I do love how the color looks on the Sony. I'm just gonna point that out. Color is super, super crisp off this thing. Always has been. But it doesn't do as good a job on my skin tone. That's why I use the Canon uh, SL2 as my primary stream uh, cam. But my God, does the RGB pop with this thing? It's, it's amazing. So that gives you a look at Capture Card A on the Sony camera. Let me know what you think. Okay, so this is Capture Card A plugged into the Canon SL2. Uh, if we're talking cameras, like I said, skin tone is right on. Uh, colors aren't quite as vibrant, but I'm actually okay with it. I still have a really well painted out back line. Uh, I'm gonna zoom it out just a little bit. That way you can see how I move. See if you see any kind of movement delays. Really, I am I think it looks really good. Uh, all in all, I think it's a really good looking, uh, looking setup as far as that's concerned. Uh, we will get into a little bit more deep dive comparison between cameras. I want to do a full camera shootout between the Sony and the Canon. That'll be coming in the coming weeks. Okay, everybody. So here is option B. I'll let you take a look at this. Let you know what you think. Let's get some movement in here. That way you can see how it does with the frame rate. Again, I will say plugged into this one versus the very first Sony uh, take on option A, I'm seeing skin tone look 10 times better. Absolutely 10 times better skin tone uh, off of this card. Okay, so option B, plugged into the Canon SL2 with a 10 by 18 millimeter lens. Let's get some movement in here. And okay, let's zoom it out so you can see a little bit more perspective. Moving, don't know what I'm doing, just trying to show you some motion blur, see what it looks like. Cool. So option C, I'll let you make your call on uh, what you kind of think about it. This is me moving around. You can see skin tones, etc. That gives you an idea. Cool. Option C. This is uh, the take plugged into the Canon SL2. And we're going to just kind of talk for a minute, move around. You let me know what you see. I'll tell you what I see. Honestly, picture quality looks good. Uh, colors look good. Skin tone's pretty close to accurate. Uh, it is pulling out a little bit of red from my chair. Not bad. Not bad. So let's start with capture card A. On the Sony, I found that I looked very red as far as my skin tone uh, in option A. Now, that's something that if I were to use that as my primary stream camera, I would go in and I would do some color correction. And I think I could fix that and make it look even better. Uh, where it's not not really an, a negative issue. Uh, with the Canon SL2, option A looked fantastic. Honestly, it looked really good. Uh, not too much of an issue. You can see a little bit of a stutter in that frame rate. I, I'm not at all surprised about that because option A was a USB 2.0 knockoff family. Uh, so it's only filming at 1080p 30 in that test footage. Now let's talk about option B. So option B, plugged into the Sony, my skin looked really good. It was night and day different than uh, what it was plugged into option A. Uh, so no real uh, no real surprise there because option B is a Camly. You know, it is a higher end piece of equipment. They retail at $129.99. It, does support up to 4K 30 and it was filming in 1080p 60. Uh, the other thing is my movement appeared to me as being more crisp, but you let me know in the comments if you disagree with me on that. Uh, so like I said, the Sony's skin tones looked a lot better. Uh, colors were still really vibrant in the background, so we didn't lose that. Uh, I still prefer the video that I get off of this Canon 
But I think that's primarily the fact that I have a way nicer lens on the Canon. But I did want to give you a comparison across two cameras since I had the ability to do so. And finally, option three was the other knockoff capture card that has the blue USB that I thought might be 3.0. Uh, I will tell you, whenever I plugged it in, I went in and tweaked, tweaked with settings, trying to see if I could get it up to 60 frames since it was uh, appearing to be a USB 3.0 device. Uh, you can't, it's 1080p 30. I honestly could not see any real difference between the two knockoffs. I think they're exactly the same minus this little USB piece having a blue tip to it. Uh, nothing internally would appear to be any different. But if you have 20 bucks or less to drop on a, on a capture card, I think it's worth your money. I think you go, you tweak your settings, you get your lighting perfect, and you're gonna have yourself a really, really nice looking setup for an affordable price, uh, especially if you already have a camera around, you have a GoPro with an HDMI out, you have, you know, an, a, a Rebel DSLR or a or Sony camera, really anything that can take a clean HDMI out or even not a clean HDMI out and you crop it in, you're going to be in good shape with something like this little capture card. So to wrap up my thoughts, my thoughts are if you're trying to save yourself $110, which is a lot of money, and you're not somebody who's moving a ton on stream, go with the cheap capture card. Go with a knockoff. Uh, like I said, it saves you at least $100. And with that $100, you can get proper lighting. Buy yourself a ring light or, or two. Get yourself lit from the front. Get yourself lit from the side. Light yourself properly. That's going to do so much more than anything you'd be able to do with these capture cards. So with that, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which capture cards you like the most. And as a reminder, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link is in that description below. And you can also join the Discord with our stream help section that will help you grow and optimize your stream. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. There we go. Sam and I will <clears throat> will look out for the good of society. Uh, yes, we are the police. Uh, what year are you from? Uh, 2020. Uh, uh, no, that <laughs> means we're the imposters. <laughs> the police are in town. <laughs> Yeah! Please, I knew, when, I knew when, when I asked you what year, please, you were. Uh, <laughs> oh, man! <laughs>